In September, President Kennedy paid his second visit of the year to Cape Canaveral. On an earlier trip, he had decorated astronaut John Glenn. The purpose of this tour was to take a closer look at Cape facilities, one of four stops on a two-day flying trip. Greeted at the Cape's landing strip by Major General Leighton I. Davis, Atlantic Missile Range Commander, and Dr. Kurt Debus, the NASA Launch Operations Center Director, the President and his party rapidly moved out to the first stop, Pad 14, and a short briefing by astronaut Walter Schirra and the Atlas crew who would soon stage America's third orbital flight. At Pad 16, the President had a good look at the Titan II. The party, which included Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson, Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara, Secretary of the Air Force Eugene Zuckert, the NASA Administrator James Webb, and other high-ranking government officials, received a briefing on Atlantic Missile Range operations and the Titan program. A model of the Titan III was shown publicly for the first time, and the presidential party was briefed on the Titan III's future role as a booster. Next, through the Saturn complex, where the president received a detailed account of the giant booster program. Finally, to Hangar S, a meeting with astronaut Gordon Cooper, and a word of thanks to the assembled military and civilian workers. Houston, Texas, the new home of NASA's manned space flight center, was the next scheduled stop on the presidential tour. And then a farewell salute from General Davis and Dr. Davis as the presidential plane Air Force One departs Cape Canaveral.